today I'm going to show you how to do a triangular rooftop glass wall. See this? Uh, I've done it here on, on my model. It's just this glass wall and it's triangular. And it's not that complicated and I'm going to show you how you can do it too. First though, I'm just going to delete that from my model. That used to be our walls, a bit like the other side here. But it's not. I deleted them and now I want to put a triangle uh, window there. So how I do that, a triangle and what you're going to what you're going to have as part of your default set of objects is this one called the fixed triangle uh, ignore that because that's something I created earlier but this is what you probably got and so if you get that and you drag it in um, it's not quite right uh, so it's just I'm holding down control and scrolling so we can see it and we don't really have any options uh, to rotate it on its on its side and if I change that for instance it just sort of rotates it a bit like that so how we get that option or that ability is to I just delete that is to open a new uh, window we'll get that triangle object again there it is, fixed triangle. We drag it in. Now we just export as OBJ. I'm going to call it uh, triangle object. Triangle object. Save. And I'm just going to export the selection. Okay, let's just delete that. Now we'll import that same model. There it is, uh, the OBJ, import, uh, continue, continue. And the important thing here is to leave that deselected. So that's wrong. It needs to be movable. I'm just going to call it uh, MISC and keep it triangle object. Continue, finish. Okay, there's a triangle object. If I bring that in now, and right click it and do modify furniture I now get these extra options for rotating on the X and the Y axis what I'm going to do is rotate it on the Y axis and I already did this before so I know I need to rotate it 135 degrees there it is that's the triangle now Now I can just go ahead and save that now. So 3D view object export. I'm going to call it triangle window um, 135Y. And you can call it whatever you want, but that's what I'm going to call it. Save. Export selection. Now close that window. Let's go back to where I was before. Now, right click in here, import furniture, choose model, the OBJ, open, continue, it's already correct, continue. Um, I'm going to call it, I'm just going to keep it misc. And I'm going to leave it just the way it is, um, movable. Continue, finish. Now, if I drag that in, you can see, whoops, that, that is an object that is pretty close to what I want. So let's just go ahead and resize it. I'm going to find the uh, edge, go across to the other edge. Now I'm going to make it taller and that is pretty close. I just tap that in a little bit. Cool. 
now uh, I mean that looks pretty nice in real life that would probably be need to made of metal iron because you'd be removing a whole bunch of bricks and there we go and just to just because we can we're gonna add a person or a woman there we go that one there and there we go and I think that she likes it she, she's gonna buy this house <laughs> so remember to like comment and subscribe and share and thanks for watching